it's Shelby from Learn Thai with Shelby. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. I would like to thank everyone who has donated to this channel. I read all of your messages but I can't really reply them because there is no reply button and I can't meet you for coffee or whatever that you offer but I do really appreciate it. If you like my video, you can simply just leave a comment in the comment section below. That's the only way to help me grow this channel. You don't have to be shy. Look at me. I'm on this platform talking about sh and my face is all over the entire video. So please do me a favor. Just leave your comment in the comment section below. What can be improved? What you don't like? What I did wrong? everything put it down there today we are going to learn about sex part two you guys requested i'm gonna do it in this video i'll be covering sexual orientation ways to say sex organs and slang that i missed in the previous video but before we start i just want to let you know that this is a cut version if you want to watch the uncut version go to my patreon and become a patron you can choose any tier and you will access to the full version of this video the link is in the description box. You will access to every hash word that I didn't dare to publish here. The more this channel grows, the more haters I get. I don't know if they're gonna report on this video or not, but I put a lot of effort and time into making this video. So I don't wanna take a risk and I have explained how harmful they are in that video. Sexual orientation technically describes the enduring pattern of attraction of which sex or gender are you attracted to and that enduring pattern of attraction will determine your sexual orientation. If you are heterosexual or basically you just want to say I'm straight. If you are a man you would say Pom Pen Pu Chai or which means I like girls. If you are a woman, you would say Chan Ben Puying or Chan Top Pushai, which means I like guys. We use different words for men and women who are attracted to the same gender. If you were born as a man but you like men then you are gay so we just call it gay just like in english the question is is being gay acceptable in thailand the answer is yes but for some people they can't act openly because of their career or because of their family not accepting it gang gang i talk about this in animal slang words if you haven't watched it you can check it out by clicking on the right corner you can also say guang guang gang and guang are used to describe a man that dresses and acts like a man but likes men tut 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 it's also a common way to call someone gay but sometimes people call lady boys tut as well and there isn't a right or wrong for that but some people might get offended if they are called tut tut it's a man who dresses like a man but acts camp when it comes to being gay in thai we also have words for givers and takers which are gay rap and gay ruk gay rap means a guy who like to be on bottom and geru means a guy who likes to be on top so if you are gay people might have asked you are you a giver or a taker penrap ru penruk penrap ru penruk and they will drop the word gay because it's obvious that you are gay mai pa diao kan my pa diao kan is also a common way to call someone gay if you don't wanna offend anybody but it can't be used for lesbians ka thoi ka thoi most people misspelled these words as ka thoi the correct spelling is without ro rua a trick to remembering it is ka thoi pen dai lei mai tong ro 
กระเทยเป็นได้เลยไม่ต้องรอ meaning if you want to be a lady boy you don't have to wait just do it so รอเรือ it's รอ which means to wait in Thai I have been asked the question it's the word กระเทย offensive it really depends on the person some people don't care but some do to be safe don't call anyone กระเทย The first time that you meet them, and don't ask a girl if she is a lady boy or not. เป็นกระเทยหรือเปล่าคุณเป็นกระเทยไหม Don't say that. Another way to call a lady boy is สาวสองสาวสอง which is shortened form of สาวประเภทสองสาวประเภทสอง or สาวสอง are acceptable for both written and Spoken language, and it sounds more respectful for them. Tomboy is a borrow word that we used to call a girl that dresses like a boy, but like girls. But we say only Tom. So this term in Thai is used differently to English. I've been asked this question a lot. เป็นทอมหรือเปล่า Are you a tomboy? There is a type of girl that likes tomboys, and we call them D D. They just dress and behave like normal girl, but they don't like guys. The term of lesbians is also a borrow word that we use in Thai too, but we say it only less, but not an S actually. Let let. เป็น less หรือเปล่าเป็นเลสหรือเปล่า Are you a lesbian? Teaching is common slang that is used for being a lesbian. Teaching literally means scratching symbols the Thai instrument. This one in slang it means girl on girl. It comes from two symbols that are striking one another, which is in comparison to the same gender. เธอชอบตีชิงไหมเธอชอบตีชิงไหม Are you a lesbian? คนส่วนมากคิดว่าฉันชอบตีชิงคนส่วนมากคิดว่าฉันชอบตีชิง There are so many ways to call a penis. It all depends on the size. I'm not kidding. And gentlemen, I just want to let you know that girls are talking about your size. Every girl, like literally every single one. Not only me. In some way, she's gonna talk about your size with her girlfriends. So before you brag about your size, please make sure that you actually have it, because if you don't, you might hear words that I'm about to tell you. For words that you don't see here, that means they are on my Patreon in the full version video. So. Please check out the full version on Patreon. I'm going to use the use symbol from the previous video. I hope you guys still remember what they mean. The most formal way is a w a y a w a p e t h a i A w a y a w a p e t h a i A w a y a w a is organ, p e t gender, t h a i male. You will see this word being used in a formal context, such as news. TV programs or advertising that are related to sex organs. n o k k a o n o k k a o I have talked about this a couple times before, but I'm gonna say it again. n o k k a o literally means dove, the bird, and it can be applied to the same way as a w a y a w a p e t a i but it's a lot less formal. Ham. Ham. This word is pretty normal for spoken language. However, it s forbidden on TV programs, news, or anything public. And most of the time, you will see it written in this form, which make it less obvious. Nong Thai, Nong Thai literally means younger brother. This one is the cutest one to use, and it can be used for both spoken and written language. Nong Thai, เขาเล็กหรือใหญ่ Nong Thai, เขาเล็กหรือใหญ่งูงู this word literally means snake งูแฟนเธอใหญ่ไหมงูแฟนเธอใหญ่ปะ All of them that I talk about do not indicate anything about size. They are just general terms. But if it's big, we would call anaconda. Anaconda. Yeah, it's anaconda. ข้าวหลาม
cow, lamb, this one roasted sticky rice and coconut. It's really delicious. If you haven't tried it, let's do it. Ho mo, ho mo, ho mo. Kai, kai. Yeah, that means egg. So in slang, it means ball. Gluey, gluey. Banana. If it's small, we call it non cha kiao. This is non cha kiao. If it's even smaller, we would say it only non, which is worm. And if it's really tiny, we would say it sai duan, sai duan, which means earth worm. And the smallest one is mai jim fan, mai jim fan. Yeah, toothpick. However, we still have so many ways to say penis, but I don't have time to list them all. As you can see, it could be anything related to food. I don't know why, maybe it's delicious, but it's usually due to the shape of the vegetable, just like in English, like aubergine, makua, but we don't say that in Thai, makua. No, we don't say that. But it's understandable that what you are talking about. There are fewer words for this than there are for penis. The most formal one, a wayawa pet ying, a wayawa pet ying. The cutest one, nong sao. น้องสาวผมอยากกินน้องสาวคุณจะแย่ผมอยากกินน้องสาวคุณจะแย่ I want to go down on you so bad จิ๋มจิ๋ม This was it's the most common way to say vagina and it's acceptable for spoken language ยิ้มยิ้ม yeah it means smile but in slang it can be used to describe a come out tall เดินยิ้มมาแต่ไกล does mean to smile from far away. It means your kamoto is noticeable from a distance. Plus, yim also means to have sex. Yim kan liyang. Yim kan liyang. Have you slept together? There are so many ways to call it. The most formal way is kon pet. Kon pet. You can call it mo oi. Mo oi, mo oi. It's slang that it's converted from the original one. Another way to say it in a casual way is, pa, pa, which literally means forest. But if it's really hairy, we would call it, pa dong dip, pa dong dip, meaning rainforest. Pa rok mag, mai burn hai rok. Pa rok mag, mai burn hai rok. Pa thang pa ma kon. Alright, that's it for today guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and find it educational. And please give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or anything that you want me to cover, please leave them in the comment section below. I will do the third part if you guys want me to. And I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day and I hope you guys get lit. Bye!